In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamor, was plucked from the heavens through Imperial Mackin. That's no moon! From it's a space station! ...the elder Prime Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the Devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Whoa. That's gonna set us back a couple hundred bucks. Anyway, that sucked. Have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon a party. So anyway, the apocalypse wasn't that big a deal, I guess. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed. <laughs> to him once more. Heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. It actually seems to clean things up a little bit. And prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. The skies are nice, there's no nuclear winner. As for this thing, I don't even know Many what the fuck. Walk that in the light of the crystal. Where is it? What is it? And why is it here? I don't know what the I Seriously, what is that? Why is it and where is it? <laughs> like I know, like I'm not being an asshole. Like okay, the crystal. Okay, fine. It's a crystal. What, what is it? <laughs> It's questions like this that bother me. It's the same thing in Final Fantasy XIII. It's, these are simple questions that I want to know the answer to. No, it, Abyss, who knows and who cares? The whole world revolves around this thing, apparently. You know? You know, may you, may you bathe in the light of the crystal. Okay, shit, that's like... Okay, fine. That's... It, you know, it's, it, let's... <laughs> Let's take Star Wars, for example. They always say, may the force be with you. Well, the first thing that happens in the fucking movie is Obi-Wan Kenobi explains what the fuck the force is. And he doesn't hand you a fucking data log. And why is Ethan Hawke my character? The cure. It's a human. Call it a human. You're just making shit up. That is George Lucas right there. He just makes words up. It's fucking baby talk. A human? Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's probably what it is. That's the elf. You just don't want to call it an elf. Oh, good lord. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Oh no. Oh, it's the furry. Uh, upskirt, immediately. You can immediately get upskirt. Oh, you can't get upskirt on the child, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Th this is fucking shameless. Right here. Right there. Wow.
This is immediate gratification, like right there. I wonder what the percentage is. I bet the percentage is like, if you were to look at the fucking bell curve, I bet the bell curve is like, flat, 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 SPIKED! Flat. Oh, oh, attire. Attire. Small clothes. View your character in the set of undergarments. This is pathetic. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Good for you. This is pathetic. Oh yeah. Yeah, huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, alright. This this is this is amazing. Really? Oh my god, no! What? Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh! No! No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, what is that? Oh! Oh! Yeah! Ha! Yeah! No, Chris Hansen, go away! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! God, put Ethan Hawke back there. At least he's over. He's at least he's of legal age. Ah! What in the fuck? You got problems! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ! Let's not mince words here, okay? These are children. I don't care if they're like, oh, they're fucking hobbits or something like... Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Like, okay, the cat girl, I get that, fine. At least she's legal. She's at the beach, she's having a good time. I get that. You know, fine. If that's a thing. She's happy, she's frolicking. Cool. Put her back at the beach. Oh, she's not legal? I don't care. I'll just... Let's pretend. Let's pretend for a while. This? This is fucked up! Ah! No! God! I'm already... I haven't even started this game and I'm shocked my fucking core! See, I want 5 o'clock shadow. I don't want the fucking... What? I, half goatee thing? I, I don't know. I guess I'll take it. Oh, dear lord. You can have all the colors of the rainbow. I want brown. Can I have brown? Or is that too unimaginative? I, I could just go fucking lime green, is that a... no? Oh lord. Lightning pink. See, that's like fucking purple. That's... I want brown. I guess that's seriously about as good as I'm gonna get. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm not dressing like that. 
Even he's looking at this like, what the fuck? Okay, only the most badass armor ever. Oh, wow, that's Femi. That's really Femi. That is, yeah. Are you sure you got the men's outfit, dude? Yeah, I mean, I'm digging the hat, but wow, the blouse and the... <laughs> the... The, the brooch there? Wow. And the the, the... the the flared... The flared tights. And I'm pretty sure... Th wow. The... The pumps? Yikes, man. The, the two-tone flared tights. Oh, man! This gets Femi in a hurry. Like, okay, at least I'm down with this. Kind of? Like, okay... This has got to be hot as balls, though. God damn, he's... God, the swamp ass is man. brutal. See, and again, he's wearing a skirt. The, th the fucking thigh highs. This is where you lose me. Is the... The open to the calf boots and the thigh highs. And this... This is phallic. This is like the only manly part of it, is the gigantic dick coming out of his head. He's got this big dick coming out of his head. But that you lose me with the thigh-high boots and the skirt. This is the brony class. He's got little wings! He's got little wings! Oh my god, dude, people must laugh at you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, man. That is so cute. He's wearing a dress. Let I mean, let's not let's let's not fuck around here. He's wearing a dress. This isn't some Scottish thing where I'm like, oh, he's wearing a kilt. No, 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 no. This is a dress. No, like, I don't care if you give, like, I don't care if you give people the option to wear women's clothing. Like, okay, whatever. But no, like, they just put you in a fucking dress. He has holsters for his fists. He has to keep his fists in holsters when he's not using them. He's, like, otherwise, otherwise, they could just go off. His fist could just go off! But I want to see what it gives me as a random name. Bruce Sadler. <laughs> Bruce... <laughs> what other... Esperance Moore. This is gonna be this is gonna be fucking funny. Go, Madison Mason. <laughs> Lodwick John. Lodwick. <laughs> Fauntleroy Lodwick. Madison Leatherby. I guarantee you, if I put Spoonie in here, they'll bounce it. Holy shit, it took it. Well, it's... Yeah, my name works! <coughs> I'm amazed it took that, because usually something like that goes fast. Oh, my brain is glowing on! We're in there! 
I get it. I hate this song already. You've been hitting me over the head with it for an hour. Ah. Oh. Play something else. Ah. Uh. Jesus! It's a train! Head towards the light and maybe the music will stop. Yay! It's just, I'm really not that impressed. Yeah, I don't think this is going to intimidate him. <laughs> no, really. So you're hoping he'll die of laughter. Well, we could have voiced this game, but that would have taken effort. <laughs> I'm black, but I have blonde facial hair. Figure that one out. I dreamed I had fabulous... Oh, Jesus, fuck you. Fuck Moogles! Go away! Get your bow out! Shoot the Moogles! Grab them by their stupid fucking dingleberries and beat them against the wall! Have I chanced to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? Yeah, only two fucking aliens with fucking antennas with glowing fucking balls coming out of their heads. Nothing else, really. Yeah, now I'm seeing flying goblins. That's great. That, that's, that's great. I'm clearly the, the picture of mental health. You really couldn't find anyone to voice this game. You had, you had all this time. You, you seriously had like a year and a half. A year and a half! And nobody could have voiced this game. Halt! I am Dorkalus the Elf! Maybe I should have helped those guys. I'm only a hero. That was almost interesting. No, no, no. We, we, we couldn't have helped them. No, we have to get you through the first few levels killing rats and spiders. How much you want to bet that's what we do? How much you want to bet all we do is we kill fucking rats and wolves for like three goddamn levels? The Black Shroud. Oh, now we have voice acting. Forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Ah! Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. The brave soul who ran away from elves being slaughtered by mobsters. A telling role in the tale of this great realm.
May the matron take him to her bosom, that he may never want. Can we stop with the fucking Final Fantasy theme on the harp? Please stop! I am begging you to stop with the harp music, please. God! Textures are really bad on this book. I can't read anything. Oh, hi. Voice acting! Is this so hard? This is so boring. The dead fucking silence. If you're gonna have cutscenes, have voice acting. This is 2013, for fuck's sake! We start right off with Bitch Quest, give somebody some pie. I love Bitch Quests. Here's your fucking pie. My bitch task is complete. I mean, ordinarily, it's to kill some fucking rats, but a pie, a pie, a pie is fine. Another bitch quest! Deliver a message! <sighs> bitch quest accepted! Yeah, I know what bows are for. Good God! Bows are used to hunt things. Ugh. A bow's greatest advantage is its range. It allows one to strike at the enemy from afar. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? Slay the squirrels, ladybugs, and fungars that roam just beyond the city gates.